Hello, loves. So it is your girl, T-I-G-G-Y, and I'm back with another video. So in this video, this isn't really going to be showing you guys very much of anything, to be honest with you. It's more so of an update. So if you follow, it's I believe it's pronounced Pwn to Own, on Twitter, you will have seen that there is recently a jailbreak that has been released. It is still in beta. So there will be some things that don't work, and that's not really the fault of the person who made Cydia work again um it is up to the developers of those different tweaks to actually get them updated to work on ios 12 devices so therefore just keep that in, just keep that in your mind just keep that in your mind that it's more so they need to update the tweaks not the um developer who created the jailbreak for ios 12 who made it work basically he found the cracks um, there are some things that work. I do have snowboard installed. Anemone, um, or Anemone has not been, um, updated yet to work on iOS 12. So it will not work for you guys. You will be able to install it and everything like that, but you will not physically be able to add themes or set themes using Anemone. So you will have to wait a little bit for that. I do currently have Boxy 3 on my, um, device as well as I have snowboard, um, those are the only two things that I have so far. I haven't really found anything else that is working um, correctly. I know you will see that I have badges and folders working, but I did um, use Snowboard to apply those, and they each have to be separate. So when I go into my settings, and if you guys want a video on this, drop a comment down below and let me know. Um, when you go into my Snowboard tweak and you hit select themes, you will see that I have clear badge dot theme, which is separate um lou black folders dot theme which is also separate and lou black icons dot theme which is separate so i do have three different things showing but they're not packaged all together that is what i like about anemone because everything can be packaged together and you literally just move the theme to where it needs to go and you're able to use everything with just one click and not have to add three different things um but i do have that for now um these icons are by lou becca b on instagram um you do if you have a jailbreak you will have to rename these icons if you have an android though you are just fine to go you guys can just set these images um you can follow um <clears throat> sorry guys losing my voice you can follow uh, my previous tutorials i use total launcher and i set the icons that way but if you do um have a iphone and it is jailbroken you will have to rename them um you definitely definitely can just go on google and look up bundle ids for ios that is what the name is called to name each icon to get them to work you can either use a computer unzip rename and or you can do it on your phone i prefer to do it on the computer because i could just copy and paste everything and just re make sure that you remember as well that you will need to put at 2x and then it'll have the dot png and that is how these icons will work again if you guys want videos on that drop a comment down below but i just wanted to come to you guys and let you know that a jailbreak for ios 12 is out you have to be on ios 12 um to uh ios 12.1.2 or lower if you are not on those softwares you cannot jailbreak your phone period um, I won't be answering any comments that say, oh, do I have iOS 12.3? Can I jailbreak? Because I'm telling you guys now, you have to be on iOS 12.1.2 or lower. I will also let you guys know, which you can find videos here on YouTube, that I believe that iOS 12.1.1 beta 3 okay so you cannot downgrade using the regular 12.1.1 you have to look up beta 3 you will be able to downgrade um, if it's still being signed okay remember that as well and then you'll be able to jailbreak also this is only working for phones um iphone 8 plus or the iphone 8 line in general and below if you um as well as the iphone 10 if you have the iphone 10r 10s or 10s max you will not be able to use this jailbreak either so i'm sorry for you guys they are working on getting those working and the reason being is because the apple chip that are that is in that phone to get that phone working be faster be better is the a12 chip this jailbreak is only for devices with a11 chips or lower so you guys will have to wait a little bit more until you're able to jailbreak your devices if you have any of those that i just listed that have a12 chips in them if you forget you can always google that as well and look up a12 now as far as the people i follow on twitter um and you will see here
this is the main person that I follow. This is legit. Um, this is the person who creates Uncover, okay, for the jailbreak. If you see someone that has the name Uncover in their name, they are not legit people. Do not follow them, period, point blank. This is the person you want to follow. Um, it's PWN20WND, okay? That is who you need to follow. They will give updates. Um, as you can see here, they did do an update two hours ago, letting everyone know that Uncover um, Beta 29 is now out for public testing with full-fledged iOS 12 to iOS 12.1.2 support. And then it lets you know that this covers devices with A8 to A11 chips, okay? So if, like I said, if you have an iPhone 10s. 10s max or 10r you will not be able to use this jailbreak quite yet they are working on things but definitely make sure to follow this person on twitter and keep up with them you can also keep up with the ignition team okay so the ignition team is how you would download the jailbreak to your phone this also legit this is someone you would want to keep up with okay so basically they have a website you can click right in there on um, bio make sure you open it up in safari so at the bottom right hand or you'll uh bottom right hand you'll see that there is a safari looking app you'll click it and this is where you would install your jailbreak without needing a computer you can install it right to your device only using your device and this is how you would do this okay also oh, if you're a first time jailbreaker do this at your own risk the reason why I didn't want to show you guys how to rootless jailbreak or anything like that is because honestly and truly I wasn't going to stick my neck out um, to help people get this rootless jailbreak not only um, functioning, which is the easy part, but installing the tweaks. Um, because if you misplace something or something like that, you won't ruin your phone, um, but sometimes there's things that happen. I don't create these things, so you don't, just never know. There are risks whenever jailbreaking. This one is a semi-untethered jailbreak, so every time your phone shuts off, you will have to go back to this Uncover app and you have to read jailbreak, okay? Which is nice because you're less likely to put your phone in the boot loop, um, which is fantastic. You could just do a quick up, a quick down. If you have like an iPhone 8 or a 7 and press and hold your power button, restart your phone, and then you can fix whatever needs to be fixed, okay? So that is another positive about this. So it's great. I love it. Um, but this is what I have so far. Um, I will eventually, as things become more updated, I will make a video for you guys showing you everything that I have on my phone um, because I do fully deck out my phone from the lock screen to the home screen. I mean, I have widgets. I do customize my messaging app. I do, um, I haven't in a while because I haven't been jailbroken, but I do make my own um, iMessage and SMS message bubbles so that they look really cute. Um, I do sell them um, when I do create them if a lot of people are asking me where I get them from I just sell them to people um I don't you know charge people an arm and a leg but it's something that I literally have to create from scratch on Photoshop so it can be a little time consuming um but I've gotten pretty good with that but once I have all those things then I will come back with a video I don't know when that will be as I don't know when the people who develop these tweaks will actually update everything so I can't really give you guys like an estimated time of that, but hopefully it will be soon so that I can give you guys some really good content when it comes to iPhone. Um, in my personal opinion, I you guys know I use both. I have both here on my channel. I use Android as well as iPhone. And Android out the box is fabulous. I love that you can customize it completely without um, having to do anything to it out the box. Just get to work. Um, with iPhone, I do prefer iPhone when it comes to G jailbreak i feel like there's so many more things i'm able to do and i'm so accustomed to do it so it's a lot easier for me i like that i can set you know if my icons are already named if you buy themes from people and they already have them named you literally just place them in the correct themes folder and that's it when you go into the app you'll see that the theme is listed you click a button and it sets up everything for you as long as you have like if you want signals a lot of the themes do include signals as long as you have the correct um tweak 
because you do need a tweak called EKG to get those signals to work. But as long as you have that installed, honey, you hit one button and everything is good to go. You don't really have to worry about anything, honestly. Um, and I absolutely love that. So that is what my favorite thing about iPhone is. So I still get the battery life. I still get... Um, the iMessage because I do have a lot of friends who we play like the iMessage games and things of that nature that we do enjoy to do together um, as well as I get the customization that I want um, and once your phone is jailbroken it's not like something um, that will be taken away from you if you update your phone then you know if they don't have a jailbreak for that then you cannot jailbreak unfortunately but yeah if you have a jailbreak you have a jailbreak and right now squad we are good to go there is a jailbreak out as time goes on things will become more updated as far as the tweaks go and things will progressively get better and better but i'm pretty stoked and i'm pretty excited i've been tired this whole week i've had so many doctor's appointments and this just completely completely and utterly made my day so i just kind of wanted to give you guys an update so to recap you have to be on ios 12.1.2 or lower in order to use this jailbreak also you have to have an iphone 10 or lower to use this jailbreak if you have any of the new iphones that was released last year you cannot use this jailbreak you have to wait until they update it to be able to function with those devices okay also i believe that ios 12.1.2 beta 3 is still being signed and that doesn't matter what phone you have okay so if you have um iphone 6 i believe it is to iphone 10 um and all the way up to a 10s max if you want to downgrade now is the time go and do your research look up on youtube how to downgrade to ios 12.1.1 beta 3 remember that beta 3 then you can downgrade and then when your phone if you're in the category of your phone is not able to be jailbroken yet i mean shoot you downgrade and now when they do come out with it which should not be much longer you are now able to go ahead and jailbreak your device if you have an iphone series 8 or lower and you want to jailbreak downgrade that baby okay downgrade that thing and you will be able to jailbreak right now so just keep that in mind also do not forget if you have twitter go on twitter um this is the one that i like the most follow ignition and you're gonna follow this person right here i believe it's pwn but i don't know and i'm sorry if i'm saying the wrong the name wrong y'all don't come for me but this is the person who you want to follow to get the updates because this is the person who has been who created the uncovered jailbreak okay um i believe that maybe the Electra team might come out with something but uncover has cydia i like cydia better um not because i know the functionalities of silo or cilio is what the Electra team is thinking about coming out with or have come out with in the past um cydia is very familiar and it's very easy for me to teach you guys how to add repos and things like that so definitely make sure we just recapped make sure you do the things that i said you should do so that if you want to jailbreak you always have that possibility this is the first time in a while that you know you people who have the newer devices you're going to be able to jailbreak if you downgrade that sucker to beta 3 okay um so take this opportunity and do it if you end up not liking it you could always just update your phone and, and you're fine you know you're good to go so just remember what i said definitely rewatch this video if you need to rewatch it because i know i kind of gave you guys a lot of information at once and i do speak kind of fast so make sure if you have to rewatch this video make sure to definitely go follow me at style squad with a z for the styles on instagram because i definitely do post a lot of screenshots and things like that so as these tweaks are being updated instagram is usually the first folks to find out that i have got a new tweak on my phone that's functioning properly um as always if you have any questions comments or concerns drop those suckers down below i think that i am just going to post this up i'm not too sure if i'm gonna add an intro i probably will i always say that and then i take the time to do it so i love you guys and wherever you are in this marvelous world have a good morning a good afternoon and a good night until next time